welcome back to Good Day. Now, this morning, you know, uh, much of what we think about uh, working is retiring. We spend a lot of our time at work, so it's important to know the rules of the office. But there's a new book that explains the proper etiquette. It's called The Thing About Work, Showing Up and Other Important Matters. Uh, the author, Richard Moran, is here. He's also the president of Menlo College in Atherton. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Right. So you write a lot about people loving their jobs. You know, we hear about people all the time who never say they never want to retire. We can't understand why people who are jillionaires still want to work. What no. all we do is think about retiring. You think about retiring. <laughs> okay, but I know, why, I know, I know, you know I'm not alone. <laughs> why does Bruce Springsteen till, still tour? He doesn't need the money. No, why does right. Warren Buffett still I make? Know. Why do they? Why I do they do that? Because people like work, <laughs> but the but the rules have changed, and no one is talking about the new rules. Things like. Uh, should you take your dog to work? All right, let's talk about some of these new rules. Yeah. And when, you when you describe the new rules, is this what's making work more fun for people? Well, it's making it a lot more interesting. It's trying, we're uh, all trying to make work more, uh, uh, give people a sense that it's, they're making an impact and they're doing something important and that they're comfortable in their jobs. All right. So that could mean things like uh, free lunch, dogs at work, uh, Free bagels every day. We hear uh, about Pixar. I think it's Pixar that has the cereal bar or Google. Oh, yeah. You know, they provide all, all kinds of perks yeah. to their employees that make it more fun for them to go. All right, let's talk about some of these new office rules you have. Let's start with that first one. Should people take a dog to work? I would love it if we had dogs running around here. Yeah, well, I, I, it would uh, <laughs> change the workplace, that's for sure. Um, I always get in trouble on this one. Let, so let me preface it. I love dogs. We have two dogs. They're a big part of our family. And if you have a startup company with two guys in a garage or two women in a garage, it works. But it doesn't scale. If there were 100 dogs work running around here, it doesn't work. So the answer is no. No dogs at work. Uh, only if you're in a garage only with one other person. Only if you're in a garage yeah. uh, for a little startup. All right. Uh, new office rule number two is working from home efficient. I think a lot of people would love to do that. Yeah, well, I, I love to work at home, too. And then uh, the UPS guy rings the doorbell, and then the dog is barking, and Phone they rings. have to pick up the kids, and then the uh, mail guy. So it's sometimes it's not as efficient as people think. Plus, you still need to show up sometimes. At, per, at performance review time, right. your boss needs to know who you are. So showing up is still still you know, key. It's still showing, key. You still need to show uh, up. I knew you were going to say that. Every I had a once feeling. in a while, you need to show up. <laughs> All right. How late is late? Is a question that you pose. I, I love that question because. Uh, you mean showing up at like what time is late well, if you're late for work? Well, a student asked me uh, at Menlo College. She said, uh, "How late is late?" And I said, "Unless this is a trick question, late is late." Right. Uh, she Class said, starts at 8.30, yeah, 8.31 she said, is late. She said, no, if I text ahead that I'm <laughs> going to be 10 minutes late, is that still late? And I said, yes, that's 10 minutes late. But her thinking was that texting ahead gives one permission to be late, mm -hmm. and it doesn't. So the whole part of the new rules are about how technology is changing the whole world right. of what's permissible and, and so what isn't. It's is nice it. to let people know so they're not worried about you or, yeah. or panicked or, or yeah, angry. At least you but, know yeah, they're well, on you know, their way in. Yeah, but you're still late. <laughs> you're still late. You're, you're, still, late. <laughs> you're still late. <laughs> okay, and let's talk about office casual. That's, got, that's a wide range oh, of yeah, business wardrobe casual. choices. Yeah, and women have it harder than guys uh, in this. Thank you for acknowledging that. Yes, um, <laughs> because men can wear the same, you know, can wear khakis and uh, blue blazer or be dressed like I am and I'm semi-business casual. But even that's changing because business casual now in Silicon Valley could mean flip-flops and shorts and a, and a t-shirt. Right. So I'm not even going to delve into what it means for <laughs> women, but it's changed. It's, it you, know, you don't have to get dressed up yeah. as much as you did. How long have you been doing uh, your job? How long have you been president of Menlo College? Three years. Three years? Three but years. you've been in education, I assume, for a long, long time. I haven't. What? Uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm new to higher education. So uh, I have a checkered past full of, <laughs> full of experiences in business, and uh, that's so my books are based on observations and all the things that I've seen in business. And now I'm bringing that to orient the students at Menlo College and about you love your job. how they can succeed. I actually do love my job. <laughs> God bless you. That's yeah, awesome. Um, You're an inspiring example for people. If you want to check out uh, his book, uh, Richard Moran wrote, uh, The Thing About Work, Showing Up in Other Important Matters. He's president of Menlo College. Thanks for coming all the way over here to Sacramento for, to be pleasure. with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bethany? Yeah, Richard Moran, not retiring anytime soon. For